This is a welcome to Sipping Off the Cuff on Tequila Aficionado Media. Of our channels and networks, I'm Mike Morales here in sunny Southern California. That gentleman out there is Jim Johnston in Youngstown, Ohio. Uh, Jim and I were very lucky and fortunate to try this brand new tequila that uh, may or may not be available for you in the market. It's called Azteca Azul. And uh, as you can see, I've enjoyed a little bit of it. Jim, on the other hand, has just broken the seal on his. Yep. Uh, it, as you can see, it's really plain wrap. I mean, there's not a whole lot going on with the, you know, and and that's okay because because part of what we do here is show you that you don't have to don't don't judge it don't judge a book by its cover. So right, uh, I've seen plenty of nice bottles that have nothing good in them. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, with some of them we've had here. Uh, but oh, oh, look, look, let me show you. Bubbles, shampoo bubbles. I like seeing bubbles. Of course, it's not a, it, it isn't a, um, a sign of quality, but, but it's a, it's a, it's a sure good sign that you might want to try this first. Lots of bubbles on this thing. Okay. So this is the Plata. Um, what we're going to do is taste it first. Then we're going to give you all the ins and outs, stats and stories and tell you where where it's available, or at Ooh. least tell you who makes it. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, I will I will even give the backstory. I'm going to use my Stasel Jarrito for, for this one. And um, it is pristine. It's very shiny, as you can see. Even the glass bottle isn't tinted. Uh, it's interesting that the... The, the label is brown, but it doesn't give any kind of a pale. Um, it doesn't impart any coloring. I can, I can read the words off the label through the back of the bottle. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's how clear this stuff is. It's just, it's clean. And um, nice, nice legs and tears. Yeah, cascades kind of break down the glass there. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Nice string of pearls, nice, whatever you want to call it, legs and tears, string of pearls. That's it. Hey, you know, that really, it, it's it's um, really clinging to the glass. Yeah, it is. It's not runny, so that's good. That, that'll that give you an indication of what kind of mouthfeel. There it goes. Now it's coming into the, back in the liquid. So it's very pretty, very pristine, very clean. Um, let's see what we got in the nose. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, holy cow. I got all kinds of herbs on this side and fruit on the other side. Yeah, I, I got I got citrus agave, but then a little bit of anise herb on the other side. Yeah, yeah, I did. And I got like a like a ro I want to say rosemary, but I got some kind of herb. Maybe even a, a spicy herb. Rosemary is like, good because, like, an, like an, a pungent, oily herb, like a yeah, rosemary yeah. and oregano. Well, I was going to say basil. Yeah, Maybe. but 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 like a bright, oily kind of. Wow. This is wow. this is... And, then, and then, but but that 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 agave and the herb is together. It's not pure agave coming out of there. The the, the those notes on the nose kind of. Uh, connect yeah they're they're nicely blended together and i'm not and of course i've been i've been through part of the bottle when it first arrived it was one of the first bottles that came to me when i when i got to southern california from texas and uh wow it's bright citrus too it's like a like a like a lime zest That's yeah what I'm yeah but i'm not getting any alcohol there's not there's really very no. if there's any i can't i can't detect it you might yes. mistake that herb, that pungent herb for the alcohol, but the minute you, you get it and, and it kind of develops a little, it, it, it's the oil from the herb smell, not the alcohol. I mistook it for alcohol at first, and I said, no, that's, that's, like, that's like oil of oregano hitting me or something like that. Yeah. That's just really neat, man. So right away, I, can, I could probably pair it with an Italian dinner. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. This is... Uh, well, I think we need we need to dive in, man, because I I'm again I've had a little bit, but Jim's not touched it, so All I'm right. touching hands. Here we go. 
<clears throat> oh. Wow. That is so clean. Yeah. That is peppery and, and fruity and sweet right off the bat. A little bit more pepper on the back here. Yep. Nice finish, but clean. That 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 liquid is just so um the the, the flavors are there and, and and very evident, but but it all is it all hits in stages. Yeah, and it's nicely balanced. It, there's not there's nothing off-putting at all. I like that herbaceousness that that the the cooking herbs that, that I'm getting that I got, you know. Sometimes if we're, if we're lucky, we can we can uh, detect some mint or spearmint, and usually in a highless tequila that that can happen. But this was like you said, it's rosemary. It's it's oily. It's like a, I, I said I thought it was like a basil. Um, well, but, I'll tell you what. Now now I'm kind of getting that orange, not not zest or like squeezed orange basil taste that has. A touch of licorice at the end, not anise. Actual licorice Actually, at the end of it, okay, but I just uh, just a note of it that's not, and it's just so um, it's just so balanced throughout. It it, it really just moves well. Because what's up front for me is is the orange, basil oil, almost herby kind of kind of like you make the the stuff you'd coat a roast pork with, except there's no pork in it. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wow, this is this is fantastic. It's even better the second time around. It's been several weeks since I've had any, so. And then just nice white pepper right here. Yeah, I did, I haven't gotten any anise yet, but I'm that doesn't mean I won't because I'm usually I'm usually very sensitive to that. I can pick it up that licorice anise kind of thing. Right, let me give you the stats and stories on this thing, and and why I was so excited to get it. Okay, last year, two years ago, Matt Metris and I were lucky enough to get uh, Maracame tequila sent to us and it was delightful it it i think it was a brand of promise one of platinum or gold from us the whole line is stellar blanco reposado añejo beautiful packaging i mean it just it just it was like best in show well it turns out that this is coming from the same gnome 16 it says gnome 1610 if i'm not mistaken 1610 uh 1610 and that is Casa Tequilera Dinastia Arandina. So it's from uh, Arandas. Their office is in Zapopan. That's a different... I'm, I'm glad you can pronounce that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there was no way I was going to I don't even speak Nahuatl. Because uh, a lot of these... Uh, a lo many of these towns are not in Spanish. Uh, some are, some aren't. But um, anyway, it turns out that this is where they make maracame. This is the maracame's stable mate. Now, off camera, when, we, when Jim and I were talking, uh, I asked him if he could, obviously, for, for, because Jim lives in a control state, he's, there, it isn't available. But you found some pricing, and I'm, tell, tell everybody what the pricing looks like. From what I can see, it's between $18 and $22, depending on where you get it from. So, so this would be, and there's, there's a handful of what I consider quality um, well tequilas. I was just gonna say, this is well tequila, but I wouldn't put this in your bottom speed rack. No, well, but I'll tell you what, there's so much character going on. Uh, and of course, it, it, uh, uh, apparently the distillery has its own estates, uh, you know, uh, where they grow in Arandas, which has its own distinct flavor profile. Uh, it is considered Highlands, but it, I think Arandas, leans more toward the the uh, Matitan Valley part of it and still has the best of it's almost like the best best of both worlds when you when we speak about Tarar if you believe in stuff like that um but Matakame was so impressive that when these folks reached out to us um the uh, company that handles the uh, I guess it's the importer and I said you guys you guys do that I said send me what you got because I'll I'll, we'll taste everything coming out of that distillery. There's only a handful of brands being made there. Um, probably one I've been after, Socorro, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It only makes a handful. Seven brands is all that they're making there. And and this is one of them. And for the price point, I mean, now the back of this uh, this cell sheet, this POS material, they have a, uh, a mar the daisy, they call it. And it's their, you know, uh, you, they make it with a reposado. But it's it, it's three ingredients, right? Three ingredients. You got the repo, fresh lime juice, simple syrup. Done. And I I'm I'm bad I'm dumbfounded because I haven't I didn't price it. I didn't know. Yeah. That, I mean I, that's a surprisingly low price for for the quality of this bottle. The the last one that I had heard that had this kind of quality and I've never tasted it, but I've heard from other people that have had it is called Cimarron. Cimarron. Yeah. Uh, which everybody, I you know, uh, I think Jake Lustig, um, who, whom we call the the Nick Fury of tequila, he's he's responsible for Artenome, the Artenome line, which uh, you you all may have seen on the cover of our magazine. Um, he he's a genius, and and somehow that Cimarron went bananas way before COVID, of course, and and before the the current agave crisis, right. So the quality of this thing, this, this is one of the very few Blancos I'd say you can actually pair a cigar with this. Because now that I've had this a couple times and it's, it, 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 I'm, I'm going through this flavor profile, the end of this, that, that herby kind of, there's almost a, a cedar tannic quality at the back of, of the herbs for me. This would be something that would go well with a cigar because it just has such bright standalone flavors that I think would would not get drowned out by a good Habano cigar. I got to say I'm really digging the peppery. This yeah. thing this thing is is um it's interesting because it it comes in rather sweet and orangey and then it just explodes. And the more you have of this, the more that pepper just takes over and and it's it's really it's beefy. There's a lot going on, on on this for the for the price. Well, I tell you what, for the price, I'd drink this probably with a Padron anniversary 1964 because it's got that chocolate cedar, little bit of spicy, that almond flavor that I, I think would go well with the sweet orange herb and cedar on this. And honestly, you get the cigar for about the same price as the bottle. So yeah. once you go with the cigar, you have the whole bottle left over. Wow, so you'll get it. It's a whole pairing kit. <laughs> it is. Yeah, well, you're, you're actually going to pay more for the cigar than the bottle, depending yeah. on where you are. But this is a let – me, let me read you just a little bit of what they're, what they're telling us. I mean, this is – it's a simple cell sheet, not a whole lot going on. This clear premium tequila has intense aromas of honey and sweet cooked agave. It does. With citrus notes of grapefruit, and I thought it was lime, but that's okay. Yeah. And floral notes of anise and mint. I didn't get mint. I got we got more. I got, the, I, I got the anise, and I think what what they're describing as mint is what's coming through for me as that oregano oil. It's a little bit of a spicy menthol. Yeah, which um, is what an oil of an oregano I think would do. But yeah, it, it's like a spicy menthol. Well, we're in the ballpark. You know, it's a it's a definitely an herb. Um, the taste is soft, sweet, fruity with notes of honey, coconut, banana, and peach. Well, I'm not getting banana or coconut. I'll tell you what, the, the coconut, though, is what I think derived that sweetness and that cleanness from the front. Okay. I'll I wouldn't have described it as coconut, though. I, I, I guess it's just a sweetness that I think got, for me, cut out by that pepper in the yeah, middle. Yeah, the pepper, I will tell you that if you're looking for, uh, well, let me just say that the pepper is what... It's the star. I think it's the star of the whole show because you need to have that, I, um, especially with the, the, the for, for what I think that this was produced for. Um, you know, like I said, for co to be cocktail forward, you don't want to lose the character of the tequila in the cocktail. This baby will stand up to a great like us, like it's got the, 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 the daisy recipe here. Yeah. And, um, which, by the way, the daisy is the original. That's the the Spanish word for margarita. A margarita is a daisy, uh, or I think of one, one's a derivative of the other. But anyway, um, I I gotta yeah. say, dude, brand of promise. If you hold this in the front of your pack, and I agree with you on that. Absolutely, brand of promise. 
if you hold this in the front of your mouth just a little longer, that little bit of coconut comes through. I didn't get peach or banana, but I got a little bit of that coconut, which is kind of that, like, um, just slightly dull, bitter sweetness of coconut water. But that's I, I had to hold it in the front of my palate because the minute it gets to the middle, that pepper comes out. Yeah, yeah. And normally I'll I'll hold something like a, between my 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 lips and my gums, and and the lip numbness is amazing, guys. I, and I look for lip numbness. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's got a, it's 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 got a way a lot of character. I, I there are there are uh, still strength tequilas that react like this. Yeah. So I'm I'm really impressed. It is. Probably the, 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 if you like Maracame and you've had it before, I think the, the actual pronunciation is Maracame. But anyway, because it's, again, it's Zapotec. I don't speak it. Uh, or Nahuatl. I, I'm not sure. They don't, they don't teach that up here either. Yeah, I, I, you know, <laughs> it's, not, it's not Spanish. But um, it's a lovely tequila if you've had it. This is the, this is the, the rougher I don't even want to call it that. It's the it's the uh, more uh, rustic version of that tequila, okay? And that's why I like it so much because it's so. And that's why I love Maracame because it didn't. It wasn't so. It wasn't watered down or toned down. It was a little bit more refined. This is this is. I think this is what it starts at. I I won't be sure until I actually ask somebody who works at the importation company. But yeah, but it's 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 it's. it's not rough it, it's it's um it's vibrant yeah it's beefy it's it's uh right it's it's really a standalone and yet for the again for the price my god back up the truck yeah uh, absolutely I mean, or back up the truck somewhere where you can get it i i'm not exactly sure where i would say maybe florida um new york least, new york I, 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 i'm about 45 minutes from the new york border i could probably but you, I tell you what, you probably could get it in New Hampshire, but that's a little further out. Uh, oh, yeah, Glo that's a haul. Globe Beverage. Oh, okay, in Chicago, Illinois. So you probably get it all over, all over, um, you know, the Windy City. And uh, Global Beverage team, they're the folks that made this happen, and, and they did uh, a couple of years back supply us with uh, with Maracame. But amazing stuff, folks. Brand of Promise nominee, and also. I think not only in the Blanco category, but in the value category. I, yeah, uh, at that price point. And I have seen nothing online, even from online retailers in states where that's available, anything over $23. Wow. Where, where, 18 where, to 23 What other online retailers have you found it in? Just, just to name a few, because maybe, maybe the, the, they, they will be able to ship into, into Ohio, I think. But it doesn't matter uh, wherever, you look, wherever you guys are, are, are watching this. Yeah, I'm looking at um, Total Wine, um, Bottle Buys, Bottle Shop, uh, twenty eight ninety nine in Bottle Shop, but that's for the liter. Oh, no kidding! Wow. Uh, I tell you what, if the quality is maintained even by the liter, I again great pricing. Yeah, um, I did not. So, so it is. I think it's designed to be the the the. the the well tequila, or at least a, a really good substitute. But I've got to tell you this: the quality of this thing, wow, I, I'm I'm impressed. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that's that's our take on Azteca Azul. But stick around because we will have the reposado version coming very shortly. Uh, that's our take. I'm Mike Morales here in Southern California. That gentleman out there is Jim Johnston in Northeast Ohio. You've been watching and listening to Sipping Off the Cuff on Tequila Aficionado Media. Please follow us on all of our channels and networks. If you are uh, seeing us on Instagram, follow us. If you're uh, listening to us on Spotify or iTunes, go ahead and download the, uh, the uh, podcast. And if you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And whatever you do, oh, like the video too, okay? That helps. Uh, whatever you do, tomar sabiamente. Sip wisely.